When I say retro handheld game consoles, most of you probably think of the Nintendo Game Boy. But back in 1976, another company released the first ever digital handheld game console. My name is Steve and I'm with Tronics Fix and today is the first video in my Retro Tech series and we're going to be talking about the Mattel Auto Race. Now many of you may remember Mattel football as it was a way more popular game, but in 1976 Mattel kind of pioneered the handheld video game console market with the Mattel Auto Race. Now back in 1976 Mattel Auto Race cost exactly $24.99 which would be $111 in today's dollars. So this is something that some of you may have gotten in your stocking or may have even gotten for Christmas. Now this game is basically just an LED based game where you have cars moving in different lanes and you have to get to the top as quickly as possible. It has exactly 512 bytes of memory. That is one half of a kilobyte. So obviously there's not much to it as far as electronics, but of course we want to see the inside. So let's get it torn down. Okay, so let's get it out of the package. This is obviously the original packaging and I got this on eBay. I don't actually remember how much I paid for it, but this is what I believe is all the original packaging. And here we have the actual game. So this is what it looks like. It has the race instructions on the back. And then this is the front. So I'm gonna get you a different camera view and we're gonna just play it for just a couple minutes and see how we do. So we have the power button and we have the gear button and then we have this is what will switch our car into different lanes. From what I've heard, you always wanna keep the, the car in fourth gear and that will keep you going the fastest and get you the most points. But obviously it's gonna take some luck as there's cars coming down the lanes as you'll see when we get it started. So here we go. Okay, now we're gonna go in fourth gear. We got a score of 86 on that one. You're supposed to keep it under 99, so we did probably not great. That's really my first time playing, so I'd say that we did all right. Now that you know how to play it, let's get it torn apart. So first, let's remove the nine volt battery. Now, as you can see, it has kind of the triangle screws. We're gonna be using an iFixit driver with the triangle bit. Those are in there pretty good but nothing we can't handle. The nice thing about the old retro tech is it's just held together by screws. There is zero glue to get this thing apart, which is amazing. So now time for the grand reveal. And here we go so far. Let's see if this is loose, and it is. So this will just slide off. Then hopefully we can remove the rest of it. And here we go. So this is the entire inside of the 512 byte game. So as you can see, we have the lighting array right here. We have a very simple speaker right here with some styrofoam around the edge. And then right here we have our 512 byte memory chip. We've got some resistors and capacitors over here. And then we have our switches. And then we also do have a AC input right here in case you don't have any batteries. So now let's hook the battery back up and turn it on and see what it looks like without the casing. We're just gonna put the rear case back on. Make sure the battery connector goes up in there. And then we'll just push it on like that. And then we install the screws. And then we put the battery back in. And then we need to remember to put the switch on the front back on like that and there we go and you can see it is working just fine 
So that is the inside of the Mattel Auto Race game. Thanks so much for joining me for my first video in my Retro Tech series, and keep an eye on my channel as I'm adding more Retro Tech videos all the time. Thanks again for watching. Let me know what other videos you want to see or if you have any questions about the Mattel Auto Race.